At long last, ranked PvP for Lost Ark is finally out. And with that, I want to go over a few tips and tricks along with the information regarding ranked. My first tip was going to be don't play ranked on the first day. Since most of the Koreans and Russians will probably be playing ranked on the first day. Since they've been playing the game a lot longer than as NA and EU players, it's not best to try and compete with them right off the bat. So I recommend waiting a day or two before queuing up for ranked. And one of the big reasons I recommend doing that is because your first 10 matches are worth 2.5 times as much as a regular match. So this is very valuable in getting your placements done and out of the way and you want to make sure you prioritize winning these at all costs. After your first 10 matches, 11 to 30 are going to be worth 2 times as much as a regular match. And then after 30, your 31st to 100th match is going to be worth 1.5 times as much as a regular match. So you really want to make sure your first 30 games you're winning majority of them to get that highest placement possible so you get placed at the rank that you think you deserve to get. This is why I recommend at least waiting one to two days before queuing up for your first ranked matches since your first ranked matches are just so important. With that out of the way, ranked will only be team deathmatch. So there will be no team elimination, so no 1v1s or any other game mode will be ranked. Only team deathmatch. That sucks since I prefer 1v1s and sadly there will be no ranked for that. But the way they help balance this out is that ranked 3v3s only can be solo queued. So what that means is that there will be no three man team stomping everybody else since everybody is going to be forced to play by themselves when they queue up. Which makes the game a very level playing field since everyone's going to be solo queued and you won't have to worry about those OP comms stomping you. At long last we finally get our PvP rewards for PvPing. And some of the rewards you'll be getting entail some PvP mounts along with some PvE materials. You will also be getting other stuff as well. You do get more rewards for being high ranked in this game than lower rank. So there is incentive to be high rank in this game since you do get better rewards based off your ranking. The PvP vendor will be located by the PvP bulletin board in each area. So just go there to get your PvP rewards. Another important thing that you should know is that your character ranked is roster wide. So what that means is if you have a death play that is diamond and you want to play on your gunslinger, your gunslinger will also then be diamond. So just keep that in mind before you go into rank with your other characters because it's going to be the same ranked as your main. So make sure you do practice on your ults before you bring those into ranked otherwise you might get slaughtered. After your first match in ranked, you will start in bronze. After bronze, you will then go up to silver. After silver, you will then go into gold. After gold, you will then go into platinum. After platinum, you will then go into diamond and then masters, which is top 30 to 100 players, and then grandmaster, which is top 30 players. I'm glad to announce that unranked is finally getting its MMR, so thank the gods. Since this means your MMR will not be resetting every day you log in, it's amazing to hear since it was relatively annoying to play 30 games one day and then have it reset the next day so your unranked games will finally be getting an MMR that will stay. Your unranked MMR is based on how many games you win slash lose while playing unranked. This is amazing to hear since you can play against good players in unranked as well as ranked now. Since unranked is a great way to warm up before going into ranked and making sure you're not rusty. Another important thing to know, if you're not playing ranked every two weeks, you will decay out of your current rank. So make sure you are playing ranked every week or two, so you do not decay out of your rank. That about wraps this up. If you guys did find this helpful or informative in any way, it would mean a lot to me if you hit that like button and subscribe. And with that out of the way, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.